After the ending of Rings of Power Season 1, we've heard a lot of rumors about their plans for Season 2 and how they're going to follow the source material or even make better pacing decisions. But now it seems like there may be a major production shakeup because the showrunners are allegedly being sidelined after the failure that was Season 1. I have a bunch of things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So this is a bounding into comics article. It says Amazon to retool the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, sideline current showrunners after the first season. So it says with Amazon's live action bastardization of Tolkien's seminal fantasy work having underperformed by practically every metric, a new rumor suggests that the company will be retooling the Rings of Power for its second season, starting with sidelining its current showrunners J.D. Payne and Pat. Patrick McKay. Now, this is just a rumor, take it with a grain of salt, but season one was a major failure. At least it seems like, of course, they haven't really released a lot of numbers or a lot of metrics, but with the ones we do know, it's looking like a failure. I have talked about these showrunners a lot, primarily because we are talking about a billion dollar series here. We are talking about the Lord of the Rings. We are talking about Tolkien's beloved work. You would think they would have hired the best people they could get, and they didn't, which of course isn't that surprising because, let's be honest, when you get very notable veteran industry players, uh, they want to do what they want to do. And Amazon wanted to choose people who they could boss around and push around and say, no, 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 you have to do this or that. And of course, these individuals will go, I'm so grateful that you gave me this opportunity. I'm going to do everything you want. I am going to bend the knee to your demands. But they should have picked better people and they didn't. And now they're paying for it because the show is just trash. It says, word of this apparent shakeup was first suggested by uh, Chris Gore during an appearance on the 314th episode of the YouTube live stream show Midnight's Edge in the Morning. It says, discussing the series' first season finale with that day's panel, he was eventually asked by the host, what have you heard from your peers in the industry? Is everyone so impressed with the rings of power like the showrunner suggests we should be? And, of course, Chris said no. In fact, he said not only were his industry contracts unimpressed with season one, but the reception to it was so generally abysmal that Amazon has set out to course correct for season two, and we've already heard some news that kind of sounds like that. I mean, these showrunners have said, oh, they're sticking more to canon. It's going to be what people expected season one to be, which of course is absurd. There's no way they could follow the canon at this point and for people to change their minds. On the Rings of Power, they would have to act like season one didn't exist, and they're not going to do that because they've already put so much time and money into season one. They're not just going to go, well, we're going to restart now with season two. They've already changed so much. There's no way they could follow the canon at this point. It says, I heard from someone who has a contact at Amazon that if you want to know, that effectively they're going to be retooling in Payne and McKay, or more than likely, they're not going to be publicly fired, but their role will be reduced. And honestly, I think that this is one of the best things that they could do at this point, is just get rid of the old and bring in new individuals who maybe have some more experience. I mean, Payne and McKay did admit they didn't think they were going to get the job because they had really no, you know, history under their belt. They had each done like one or two things, but it's not like they had done a ton. Um, I think the best way they could maybe go into season two is, you know, reducing the roles of these people who are key players and fucking up the Rings of Power season one. But if they're going to be part of the project at all, then I have a feeling it's still going to be bad. 
It says, though, potentially just remaining in the writer's room, but, but my understanding is that they're looking for more experienced showrunners. That's what they should have done with the first season. They should have gotten people who knew what they were doing. I am all for people being, um, you know, given chances and opportunities, even if they're newer to an industry. I think that people who are new to an industry can still do fucking fantastic work and they still deserve chances, but not with something like the Lord of the Rings, not with something this important and with this much money poured into it. It says to this end, he detailed that Amazon is well aware of the problems before noting that while they say publicly um, that they're proud of it, what they're actually doing behind the scenes is very different. Behind the scenes, they're freaking out that this was more of a failure than they could have anticipated. Honestly, as a consumer, it was more of a failure than even I anticipated. I know that I covered it a lot leading up to its release, but I didn't expect it to be that bad. I expected it to be mediocre, average, not great. It was terrible. As to what caused the company higher-ups to sit up and get their act together, he speculated that there were three key reasons to this change. I think the quality of the show is the number one thing. Audiences are like, why am I watching this? This is sleep-inducing. The second thing is the total rejection from fans. I can't believe there has to be very few people who remain who still like it. And thirdly, the direct competition from House of the Dragon, even like pre-seed and post-seed of the show's airing, it started earlier and is ending later, thus it is keeping viewers' consciousness for a longer period of time. And that's true. I expected the Rings of Power to be longer, and it wasn't. I mean, like it said, House of the Dragon started a week early and ended a week later, and House of the Dragon was just a better show altogether. It had its problems, it, you know, wasn't perfect, but it was still much more interesting. Every week I was more excited for House of the Dragon. The Rings of Power just didn't keep my attention, and that's so sad to say because I was so much more excited initially when these first two shows were announced for the Rings of Power, and of course then over the months we had gotten bad news about the Rings of Power, but Rings of Power should have just been better, period. Though it may be years before his speculation is outright confirmed or denied, the damningly low audience scores currently held by the series on sites like Metacritic and Rotten Tomatoes made it clear that something needs to be done and justify, you know, Amazon spending a billion dollars. And yeah, I mean, if you look at the scores on Metacritic, a 2.5 user score, and on Rotten Tomatoes, a 39%. I mean, these scores are terrible for a show that is so expensive. Overall, I just don't think that The Rings of Power Season 1 is going to be watched over the years until Season 2 comes out. I feel like some series can really keep people's attention. People will rewatch shows multiple times, and maybe, you know, a couple weeks before the new season comes out, people will rewatch re shows. I just don't think that is going to happen here. I think that is going to quietly die off. And, I mean, they said that we're not going to get a season two until like 2024 or 2025. So things are looking pretty terrible for Amazon at this point. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.